Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Far Lone Sales. Um, not sure how long this game is, but I understand um, it's uh, relatively short. So I'd assume uh, we're going to wrap this series up in this next episode or two. Um, currently, uh, we we are exploring the nature of this seemingly abandoned civilization. Last time we were... Um, we had an adventure through this industrial, this industrial city, um, and it was it was pretty spooky at times. Um, we went through some beautiful green pastures, but we are back in the drab black and white world that seems to dominate most of this game. So let's go ahead and let's push on further, and let's see what this has in store for us. Okay. Um, so, it looks like it didn't save exactly where we left off last time. Um, last time, we, we had already completed this sailing portion of our journey, but it only took us about a minute or so, so we'll, we'll quickly get caught up to where we were last time. If I had one complaint about this game, it's that I wish I could save at any point instead of just auto-saving at certain checkpoints. On the right side, we get to listen to this beautiful, awesome music again. The music for this game is so wonderfully avant-garde. Um, it's not... It's not generic, um, like a lot of soundtracks tend to be. You can tell a lot of creativity went into the soundscape of this game. This hits me just right with the the beautiful red sky matching with the the reddish brown color of the water. Wow. What is this giant machine? Built on the water. We might have to get out and explore. Mm, actually, looks like we're just going to sail right on past it. Kind of looks like a giant ship. Maybe that's exactly what it is. Um, let me take down our sails for a minute. I see some boxes and crates that we might want to pick up. This is a little toy boat. That's so cute. 
I like it so much that I'm going to keep it. I'm going to hang it up on that hook right there. All right, and we'll get this barrel and then we can keep going. Oh, the wind is pointing in the wrong direction. Okay, so we can't sail through this. So we are going to need to use our engine to move forward. It's quite okay. I was missing, missing operating this thing manually. There's something relaxing to it, running back and forth. Oh. I have the distinct feeling, no, no, I could be wrong, that we just need to pull this thing back in reverse and then smash into it again. Because I noticed that every time we um, crashed into it, the the barrier that's obstructing us gave a little bit. Um, and I feel like if we crash into it full speed again, we'll get there. I don't know how far back I want to get to give us full speed. I think this is probably good enough. All right, let's put my theory to the test. If we smash this again, will we break through? Yes. Good news, okay. And forwards we will go. that lightning. Doesn't bode well. Oh, fire! <laughs> I can't believe I missed the fires. Okay, we'll put these fires out. Wow. I suddenly feel so stressed. Again? I thought we had put out all the fires. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope there's not a possibility for this ship to explode. Um, because I am really messing this up. All right. Wow. Our ship is really being tested. What am I supposed to do? The fires just keep coming back. Do I just need to... keep putting them out or do I just need to like push on forward? How do I put this fire out? Why isn't it going out? Oh my gosh. This is embarrassing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, it seems clear to me that these fires are just going to 
continue occurring regardless. So I'm going to repair this. And we're just going to push forward. I feel like I could run in circles repairing the fires all day. But at a certain at a certain point I just need to I don't want this thing to cause even more fires. Back there. Uh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> we have to keep running. I know there's fires, but there's not much I can do. Okay, now that we're undercover, I think we can get a handle on this fire situation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to put this fire out? Like, I can't... Okay. Whew! That was... Stressful. Okay, we have cover from the rain, so let's repair all of our broken buttons. Why are we sliding back? No, don't slide back. Okay. One by one, we're going to repair all of these parts of the ship. All right, that's repaired. Wow, it's taken a while to repair these things. Maybe it's because I left them on fire for so long. I see a box back there too. You know what, I'm gonna run out and get that box. We're running a little low on fuel. Oh my gosh, the sound is so loud. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn down the game's volume in, uh, in post. Peace and quiet. I think the storm's dying down. Okay, so once we get this repaired, we are going to push on forward. Good as new. It's like nothing ever happened. We're gonna just pretend. We're just gonna pretend that none of that ever happened. I am a responsible vehicle owner. I know how to take care of my, my property. I would never let fires rage out of control. Forward. So the wind is still blowing backwards, so we're gonna keep on, uh, we're gonna keep on using the engine to go forward manually. Oh, are we gonna crash through? Nope. Of course. Of course. Because why couldn't the game just be nice to us? Okay. Well, interesting. Wonder what I'm supposed to do here. I don't even see how I can get over on the other side of the gate. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I'm dumb. Okay, so I can go to the top here, and we can jump over. And we can find a way to open the gate from the other side. It's got to be it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I just like jumped off a cliff there for a second. Well, this is new. I like these bits where I get to 
Before I get to explore outside of my ship. What does this do? Okay. That does a weird pinchy thing. What does this do? Not sure. Okay. How do I get on the other side? Okay. What's over here? Okay, I have a barrel. Okay, I see there's a generator up there right above my head. So if I choose the right key to zoom out, we can see the generator clearly overhead. Okay, so this mechanism is broken, but it looks like it's supposed to be an elevator. And it's getting jammed up by something here. Not sure what. There's a hook there. Okay, let's see what happens if I just push this all the way over. Wow, it really doesn't keep its momentum up. Okay. Does this fix the problem? No. Okay. That wasn't it. In fact... Okay. I don't think I can reach that hook. Hmm. What's this other button over here and how do I get to it? Probably by being smarter about which way I push the cart. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. I can't see a thing. Okay, what does this button do? Just light some kind of pilot flame. Okay. So let's pull this lever, see what that does. Oh no, is that going to touch me? That's pretty cool, we've got like some molten metal flowing down. I have a feeling this thing needs to be like right underneath, ready to receive whatever... No, it can't be because I need to... Because I need to climb up here. Okay, well, let's just see what happens when I press this button. Okay, we have a cog. What the point of this cog is, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. This mechanism was broken up here, so I bet you this can fix it. Yes. Now the elevator is going to work, which is going to let me get up here, power up the generator. All right, puzzle solved. That was easy. We can get back out and I bet you that lowered the gate that was obstructing our ship. Yes, it was. Fantastic. And we've got a new barrel. A new barrel of fuel. Alright. Onwards and upwards. To where, I am not sure. It looks like we are just hitting a solid wall here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, 
we are ascending the lift. I, I thought for a second that the entire mountain was lowering to our level. That wouldn't make much sense now, would it? All right. You're ascending a giant elevator to the top of this mountain. Cool. Wonder what the what's in these tanks? A1 it says. Oh, this is going to be downhill. We probably don't need to have the engine running. Okay, we'll get all this this good stuff. And we'll keep on pressing forward. looking place. Okay, make sure we keep going. Always forward. Okay, we've got all these ball things. I don't know how much fuel the balls provide. Not much, it looks like. And it looks like we actually have wind, so I'm going to stop wasting our fuel. And I'm going to sail on the wind. I think we had some steam to release too. Alright, here we go. There's snow. We're in a winter wonderland. sails went away. Um, excuse me. All the way in. Yeah. This is beautiful. This game is such an adventure of different emotions. There are times where I feel absolutely depressed and there are times where I feel creeped out and there are times like this where I just feel so serene and at peace and happy. It's a little geyser. Don't erupt while we're going over it, please. Wow. As if right on cue. Nice, beautiful colors couldn't last long. The sky has gone back to its usual drab grayness. And it's snowing. I'm gonna go back inside. I don't like the snow. It's too cold. Oh, the snow's getting harder too. Oh, 
you know, I'm just noticing for the first time. It looks like our ship has an odometer. Right here. I didn't even realize that. Must be in meters. Where did our music go? They're going pretty fast. Okay, we're entering signs of civilization again. Alright. We can pick up all this, um, all this crap as we, um, sail over it. Though, I really don't want that red barrel. I've learned better. Huh. I would be nervous that this bridge couldn't carry our weight, but looks like we're doing just fine. And it looks like we have come to a stopping point. Oh, fire! I gotta work on not crashing into things so much. I have a break. I just never remember to use the break. Okay. Um Let's get out. Nope. Nope. Let's get out. Let's see what's over here. Not this way. I guess I need to get out on top. Wait a second. Do you see that over to the left? That staircase? That must mean there's a way of getting over there. How? I'm not sure yet. Okay, we're gonna go over explore to the right first. We're gonna see what's over here. Oh. Evidently nothing. Doesn't want to let us go over here. What are we supposed to do then? Okay, I'm gonna get this box while we're at it. Um. I just got a Steam achievement that said store over 15 objects in the Okomotive. I think we finally have a name for this thing, an Okomotive. So if I just push forward. Okay, okay. I was right. If we just push forward, we can get this. Looks like a six wheeler out of the way. Oh, the elevator's going back up a level. Okay. And here we are. I see this door like kind of activating ever so slightly. Okay, we're gonna have to find a way to get this mechanism to work, I'm guessing. Um, so let's crawl out on top. See if we can get over here and figure out what's going on. Wow, there's really nothing over here. I see a red hook, but I can't jump up that high. Hmm. Okay, so it's got to be something with this this door. Maybe we can't get through with the barrel, but we can get through with just our body. Hmm. <laughs> I 
Or maybe... I can pull the ship over this way and I can climb over the top. And leap up there. All right. I don't know what this accomplished. <sighs> okay. Um, maybe we want to be forward, but not that forward. So we just pull it a little bit this way. Just a little bit. Not much. I almost feel like I want to wedge something underneath the door, like this box. Nope. <sighs> okay, so. The gear is getting activated by some kind of water dripping out of this pipe. The pipe seems to be coming from somewhere up there. I don't know if we can control it. Um, I can crawl up on top of the ship and get up here where there seems to be some kind of red weight. But there doesn't seem to be anything to do with that weight. It has a red hook on it. Um, but I can't jump high enough to reach the red hook. Over here, at the bottom, seems to be the only way of going forward, but I can't sneak under there. Um, Do I need to drop something in the gear mechanism? Hmm. Okay, so there was a barrel here. And I want to make sure that we get the barrel back. So I'm actually going to... I don't like these red barrels. Last time I did it, it set fires on my ship. So I'm just going to ditch that over there. I want to get the barrel back out. I don't believe the barrel is just meant for us to pick up and use in our ship. Um, there's a barrel here and we probably have to use it in some manner to solve the puzzle. Okay, I... When did we run out of fuel? I don't remember running out of fuel. Okay. Well, let's get some more fuel in the tank. Let's give ourselves a very slight forward momentum. Just enough to, to get to the other side. Okay. We're going to get this tank. Nope, not the box. The full tank. We're going to leap out. We are going to reach this other side. We're gonna put the tank down. Does that let us jump any higher? Yeah, but not high enough. Not high enough. It's worth a shot. We're going to put this barrel back down where we found it, here. Um, and I guess we're going to pull this thing back. I don't know what this did for us, though.
Seems like we can't pull our ship any further forward. I can get on this pipe. No, not really. Well, I remember last time I was stuck, <laughs> the problem was so, the solution was so obvious. I just literally needed to go forward a little bit more. Um, and I'm wondering if we have a similar situation here if the problem's just really, really o obvious and I'm just not getting it for some reason. <sighs> like, it's got to be something down here. Like, I gotta be able to wedge something underneath the door, but it I, I tried a box and I tried the barrel and neither of them worked. I don't have anything smaller, I don't think, other than maybe this toy boat. But like, the game can't expect me to have kept the toy boat, right? So this can't be the, this can't be the solution. Yeah, okay, no. Good, I didn't want to say goodbye to my toy boat anyways. So it's, it's got to be something over here to the right, but what? How can I get this red hook to attach? So it won't let me go any further to the right. I can't jump that high. I'm really not sure what to do here. Okay, given that I've made no progress in the last 10 minutes or so, I think we're gonna call it an episode here. Um, I'm gonna take some time, I'm gonna think about it, and we'll come back with a, with a fresh set of eyes next time and see if we can't figure out what, what to do in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series, um, and stay tuned for the next episode.